I found this uh, really neato drill stand for a hand drill. I think it's uh, pretty old. It says Canadian Tire um, on it and it says drill stand. Um, when I looked on Google to see what drill stands and stuff, trying to find this specific model, I had a very hard time, but I did end up finding one that says Oxwall, and there's an Oxwall of 3000 version, and then just an Oxwall, and um, there's the plates, the nameplate, the nameplate on it is exactly, everything's exactly the same, except for here, down here, it says Canadian Tire, and on the, uh, once on the internet, it says Oxwall pointed up and down, so... I don't know if Canadian Tire bought them from Oxwall and just put their name on it, or whether Canadian Tire sold Oxwall stuff. I'm not quite sure, but um, the, the photos I also found showed that this chip, the spark guard, it just uh, it's totally adjustable by moving this little nut, and then you can put it where you want to for like grinding stones on your drill. It's supposed to catch a few of the sparks. Um, it's got adjustable base plate. There's a nut uh, just on the back here. You can use a socket on it and, and adjust this to whatever angle you like. And it's got the piece on it where you can put round stock it's, uh, or put a, a, say a table leg in a corner in here and drill into the corner of the leg which on some furniture that's how it's mounted. A little shaky. I hope I can fix that with Google or YouTube. Um, so yeah, it clamps the drill into the back with this little rod here and there's a threaded nut on both sides and basically you can tension one side or the other to straighten the drill out a little bit here and at the top for smaller drills you've got this one that drops down and presses up against the drill and for larger drills I imagine you just undo this nut and turn it around and it's got another resting plate same shape for maybe a taller drill so and then it's got this depth stop I couldn't find anything on YouTube about these kind of drill stands it's absolutely Anytime you look on YouTube, it's drill presses, drill presses, drill presses, or DIY homemade drill presses, which are usually made out of wood. I'm going to mount mine to uh, one of these nice cutting boards. There. I like it, so it deserves a nice heavy base, and I've got plenty of these cutting boards sitting around. So, um, Anyways, it's also got... The nice large handle here. I don't know, I'm not trying to sell it, but it's um, for basically dropping the drill straight down and doing your drilling. So um, it's also could be mounted to drill sideways. I can't imagine any way you would want to drill sideways on. There's maybe there's another option for that, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, there's not a whole lot more to it. You can adjust the whole height of the drill by this screw here, up and down. You can slide it up and down the shaft here, as well as the base plate, or not the base plate, it's kind of a mid plate because the base plate's down here. This is uh, still a working plate, I guess, and uh, that also adjusts in height. So I guess you can get this as low as possible, this as high as possible if you had to drill something. This doesn't change your sweep. You can only drill as far as you know. This will allow you, which is about two inches, which isn't too bad. And I think I have to undo this nut and kind of straighten out this metal. Um, what it is is, I guess somebody's wanted to see what's in behind there because the gears go up and down, and it's got no stripping, but there's a spring in there too. So uh, I'm hoping that that nut isn't going to release a spring. I'll have to peek in there myself. But I'd like to straighten that out because it's the only thing that on there that seems like it's falling off. and It's just a little sheet metal guard. If I had to, I could make another one. But I really like having the original there. And I just, out of my three drills, um, my largest one, the hammer drill, will fit in there. 
but it's way too much power and I don't really want to break this little thing and then I got this mid-sized trail forward reverse by job mains you know probably about 5 amps or something and then I have a really small drill that's just one in one direction it doesn't fit in there so glad I had a few drills to choose from oh and there's one more bolt down here and that takes the whole shaft off there so I guess that's maybe for shipping or if you're gonna take it apart and move it or something like that so anyways this is the ox wall um, I guess hand drill press for your powered drill. It's just 120, I imagine. Whatever drill you fit in there, right? If if you got a 12 volt drill and it happens to fit on there, it's got to have a this little hook shape on the back of the drill for this to saddle into. So I don't know if that's just planned or if it's just a convenient grip shape for drills, but. Anyway, there's the Oxwall drill press that doesn't seem to have very much on the internet about it. So, there's just a little bit about it. I paid $5.50. Sorry people who want it. I want it more.